Other people's negativity gives you so much power because not only are they placing you on a fake pedestal of separation, but you can actually transmit whatever they're throwing into your energy field for abundance and success in your life. Because that's what I do. With any type of form of energy that is not mine, that is thrown into my energy field, whether it's positive or negative, because it's actually all love, it's just curiosity that doesn't know how to express itself, whatever's thrown into my energy field is immediately transmitted to prosperity in my life one because i've created a shield this way you know on my witch shape but number two i don't care about what people think and it took me a long time to even get to this point when i was younger i used to be insecure not only did i not love myself within but i used to be insecure about my physical appearance mainly just because i was skinny and i couldn't gain weight things like that and i would always get triggered by what people would say about me i would get triggered if any family member had any commentary it wasn't until high school i had so much realizations high school bro why do you even feel like this and i realized i went to the root of it and i said i didn't feel like this as a kid and it was only until i started going to school and i started getting older and now all of a sudden i'm getting told these things about my appearance about my body type about who i am as a person and then i started to absorb all of these opinions and that is literally where insecurities come from they're not even from us. They are not from us. They are literally conditioned into our mind and are molded from other people. The cycle just continues. It is a huge circle of what other people have been told, what they choose to believe without deconditioning their opinions, and then on to the next, and then on to the next, and then on to the next. It's just a huge cycle. And I said, we're gonna break away from that because i'm not about to take someone else's opinion that they did not even condition or form themselves and make it into my own once i fully grasp that concept not just the whole okay uh i understand but i still have to create something no because once you fully grasp that concept it's like all the labeling and perceptions of what you define beauty to be is out the window there was not a time after that where i looked at myself and i said oh i'm feeling ugly today or i don't feel pretty or i feel like i should look like this why like you have to question things you have to be like why do you even feel like that because when you were straight out the womb were you even thinking that you know like <laughs> you weren't thinking that it wasn't until somebody came and started to shove this opinion that they got from somebody else down your throat because that's what they perceive to be beautiful and me i've always found things that were so-called imperfections beautiful like one thing for me is eye bags stretch marks different types of teeth like it's always so beautiful for me to see those things because that's what i think is beautiful i'm just gonna think this is ugly or this is unattractive because society this is my reality like once you understand that how the universe works and how your reality works no one can say anything you're not about to tell me how to feel because you have to have that strength to decondition your thoughts decondition your opinions decondition the religious conditioning all of that has to leave if you really want self-love honestly and social media plays a big part too that has to go too because that is all just media that actually puts insecurities out there just for money the beauty industry is a very big example the porn industry is a very big example and another thing too when i actually had my awakening and i understood this oh, it was game over once you realize that everybody is just projecting bro you can't tell me anything i have that level of confidence where it's like you can say anything to me if i don't have a belief within that agrees i'm not getting triggered i don't agree with you because there's not a belief within me that agrees with what you're saying you can come to me and be like oh that blue shirt you're wearing is so ugly i know i'm wearing a black shirt so why am i going to get offended everybody is not only projecting but they're just reflections of you so i'm not about to get upset when not only are you just a fragment of my reality and consciousness but i am the same for you so i'm not about to give you that piece of me that is like 
gonna fall victim to the perceptions and the projections and the insecurities that someone else is placing on me I'm wearing a shirt right now that says insecurities aren't real they were imprinted in us and that is the realest thing because where is that opinion coming from like somebody else is molding your clay do not let people mold your clay because you are art and you are forever changing and constantly changing into different sculptures don't let somebody come over and start molding your clay and telling you that you should feel ugly or this is ugly or you should gain weight you should lose weight you should get surgery for this you should fix this why do you even think that start asking people that ask them are you still aligning with your parents beliefs are you still aligning with society's beliefs like where did you even find where did who told you that who told you how to feel like that this takes great strength and discipline to even go beyond what i'm saying and understand this for yourself because some people's egos are going to hear this and they're going to be like oh, well society is still forget all of that because your soul knows exactly what i'm talking about and it knows that it should feel that vibration of love because that is our true being and state before any of the projections before any of the insecurities before any of the conditioning before any of the religious conditioning all that crap that was put on you you know your inner state of being self love is not easy to create but the first step that everybody misses is deconditioning their thoughts and opinions on what they define to be beauty and attractive you're still following in your parents footsteps of what they think is okay you're still following what social media is saying and all these celebrities who clearly have surgery who are lying about it and telling you that this is natural and this is how you should look like you gotta just put all that to the side and really ask yourself what do i want to think how do i want to feel how do i want to perceive myself when i look in the mirror and not only just with the physical appearance but within who are you as a person and how do you want to feel every day and once you reach that level of self-love you will understand that everything is a projection because i love myself so much to the point where if i look at other people there is not one thing i'm trying to change about you or saying that you're ugly or even beautiful you're literally just as is and there is beauty in that there's beauty in just being you physical vessels is exactly and only that because that doesn't even matter like what does your soul look like how do you act when no one's around you know and not only that but my opinion doesn't matter so i don't need to look at people and tell them how they should look or if they should change something or if they shouldn't wear this or not do this like no loving is the art of allowing it's the art of allowing and letting things be and this is real because i have a huge platform i get hate comments all the time and i even have people who dm me with hate and then they come back and they're like oh i actually kind of understand what you're saying now or i kind of realize this now and it's like people just project what they think that they understand at one point in time you're forever learning you're forever growing but you will project things that you feel on the inside damn 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 i'm getting a ring like crazy all right what are you trying to say hold on holy honestly hate comments used to bother me they used to bother me because i used to have a belief within that actually agreed and that's the, that's what a trigger is every time you do get triggered it's like you actually think that within and that is top three one of the hardest pills i've ever had to swallow i know hearing that it's gonna be like no i don't believe that that's not true trust me if you're getting triggered there is something within it it might actually be like maybe the first yeah it might be the first like top three top three hardest things i've ever ever had to digest in my journey because i didn't want to believe that but it's true and it's okay to admit that it's okay to admit that but now when i see that stuff and now when people even try to project negativity onto me it doesn't affect me not only that but i am actively siphoning your energy what i say goes i don't let people tell me what i can and cannot do because family members love doing that people online love doing that people will tell you what your limits are but it's actually their limits just covered up being projected onto you so what i say goes 
like i i don't know what it is but i it took me a long time to get to that point but when i say ghost so you're not about to tell me what's going on in my reality and you shouldn't let other people tell you what's going on in your reality either i noticed that a lot with family members and random people if you're even in like a positive happy healthy relationship people will see something inherently good and be like oh you should watch out because you know when i was younger or when i was in this relationship this happened would you be telling me that if you experienced what i'm currently experiencing why are you trying to project that fear on me like you can easily give me advice without trying to project your personal experiences and it's sad because everybody deserves love happiness abundance in their life but i cannot make you feel like that you choose how you feel and you need to go after that and you need to create that yourself so people will literally project what they haven't yet experienced what they don't understand or whatever is hurting inside and always have compassion for these types of individuals i never look at them as broken or if they need to change i don't believe that like people are who they are in your reality and everybody has a purpose for them actually triggering you being in your reality and doing whatever like ev everything has a purpose right so i just have compassion for those types of individuals but let that be known let that be known don't let other people try and tell you what you can and can't achieve in life or what you can and can't do it's all a projection i only started being confident in the middle of high school and then actually loving myself last year and right now is at the point where i truly there is no more f's to give my bag of f's is so empty some people just be jealous sometimes honestly and jealousy comes from a place of love i know it's crazy but whatever type of success and abundance and love that you see in other people's life does not take away from your own it actually shows you what you can achieve in your life or what is presently going on in your life because everybody is just an extension of you especially those in your inner circle in your inner reality everybody is reflecting what you have so that's what i realized with jealousy anytime you feel jealous or you feel like you can't accomplish something because this person has it and this person's this age and you guys are the same age and they have all this and you feel like you can't accomplish it it's a direct reflection that you can it's a direct reflection of the love that's in your life it's a direct reflection of all the abundance that you can achieve and i know it sounds crazy because it's like but why are they experiencing it and i'm not well it's because of the attitude honestly but just know that you even seeing that and experiencing that type of individual in your life, experiencing that means that it's reflecting in your reality. It's crazy how everything's a mirror. Yeah, because of the law of one. We are all puzzle pieces of the same exact puzzle. It's just one puzzle, but it's a collective consciousness. And that realizing that too will help you like stop caring about people think for real. But a lot of people just have not deconditioned their thoughts. People that just spew negativity your way don't love themselves. But I have opinions. I have opinions, but they're never rooted in judgment. At least not right away. Because that's just an assumption. You know what I mean? So it's like you just don't really have those reactions when you truly love yourself. Because you can see yourself in everybody. And you can see the beauty of everything. That is the art of allowing. So it's like this trend to be like, oh, I like being a hater. Like, I live for being a hater. Okay, internet personality. Don't let people mold your own clay from their conditioned opinions that they took from their uncles and aunties and moms and dads who told them that they were fat and ugly as a kid. That's not true. Mold your own clay. Create your own art. Be art and flow like water.